Today is Wednesday, May 20th, and you're watching an SCW News Digest. More counties are reopening today after Governor Newsom loosened restrictions for counties to go further into Stage 2. Sacramento County is the most recent addition to the growing list of counties opening up more. San Joaquin County is still in the first portion of Phase 2. In San Joaquin County, public health officials confirmed 709 cases of COVID-19, 548 recoveries, and 33 deaths. 23 people are in local hospitals, and only one person in the last week has had to require intensive care. Today, Stockton Unified has another new superintendent. Brian Biederman, the current Educational Services Director, has been confirmed as a new interim superintendent of Stockton Unified. Biederman was approved by the Board of Education in a 6-1 to one vote. He will take office in June after current superintendent Dr. John Dacey officially resigns. In April, the same board voted 4-3 to three to accept Dr. Dacey's resignation, a controversial call which ended in some community members calling for the recall or resigning of some board members. Biederman has been with the district for 21 years and graduated from the University of the Pacific in Stockton. Coming back to the break, separating fact from fiction, how local students are helping fight COVID-19 disinformation. Roll over. When you adopt a shelter pet, you discover all the things that make them unique. And your mother. They're a little bit of a lot of things but they're all pure love. Welcome back. We have certainly seen a lot of people helping out during this pandemic in a multitude of ways, and one way that some college students are helping is unique. Students at Stockton's University of the Pacific have created this webpage. On it are explanations on, on, myth, on why popular myths about COVID-19 are incorrect. Those myths deal with a slew of topics from who is most likely to count to contract COVID-19 to the best materials for a face mask. The students who created the myth debunking website are Stockton Pharmacy students at UOP. You can view their site for yourself by going to the link on the screen now, which is bit.ly forward slash COVID Mythbusters. Thank you for watching this SCW News Digest. I'll see you here tomorrow with more news from Stockton.